Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cruising the Atlantic. I'm Nick Lacalzi, and I'm back to take you all around the Atlantic Junior Hockey League and catch you up on this past weekend's action in the AJHL. We are going to start it off with the Connecticut Wolfpack and the New York Bobcats. The Wolfpack took this one 5-2. to two. Quintana had three points, including two goals, both on the power play. Benjamini had three points as well. Landry stopped 32 of 34 in net. Lynch for the Bobcats stopped 33 of 38. The Wilkes-Barre Scranton Knights defeated the New Jersey Titans 4-1 behind a pair of goals from Eric Moberg and two points from Jason Zaleski. De La Verne stopped 30 of 31. Anthony Stepin, the lone goal for the Titans. Marcus Ortiz, the lone assist. Kearney stopped 45 shots in this one. Junior Rangers at the Laconia Leafs. The Rangers with an odd man rush in the first. Originally broken up by the Leafs, but they turn it over. And the Rangers going to take advantage there. Max Woods gets the opening goal from Soltz and Magliano. Laconia on the power play. And they're pelting the net with shots here. Winning the races to the rebound and controlling the puck. But Brad Roachville is the man in between the pipes. He'd stop 31 in this one, including... All of these, he stopped them at a rate of close to 94% so far on the season. Same power play now. The lead's first shot goes wide. Ends up at the far blue line. Pat Lacoste, he tees it up and he scores as he sneaks that one through everybody. And that goal ties the game in the first period. Late first now. And the Rangers with a good play at their own blue line. The one hand... The puck out, it sets up a 2-0-1, and Sweeney, his shot stopped, but it goes in off a defender. Good job looking off the pass right there. Sweeney gets it from Hardy. It's 2-1, Rangers. Early second, offensive zone draw, one by the Rangers, and that blast tipped home. Max Woods with the deflection. He gets his second of the game from Chardon and Soltz. That gives the Rangers a two-goal lead. The Leafs not ready to go away, though. Matt Henderson gathers in the pass. In the neutral zone. Gets over the blue line and fires one on goal. That ends up in the back of the net. Roachville couldn't stop it. Henderson has four on the season. It's a one goal game. Ranger power play. And they're smooth on this one. Really working the overload on the near side. Eventually it's going to be Sweat. Who gets it? Sweat. The team's leading goal scorer. And he gets this one from Theodulu and Fenton as they make it. 4-2. to two. Early third period. Boston looking to pull away. The nice centering feed is going to come from Sweat as he hits Theodolo on the doorstep right there. And Theodolo hammers it home on the second opportunity as the first one was stopped. But Perseverance, the key, it's 5-2. to two. Laconia would get one back to steal just outside the Ranger blue line. Allows them a few feet as they re-enter the long wrist shot by Nick Turner. Goes top shelf. Murphy Gets the assist as they cut the deficit to two. Boston, though, not going to let this one slip away. Transition the key here. A couple of beautiful passes to spring them into the offensive zone. The odd man rush. It's Brett Wagner who finishes it off. Wagner from Araldi and Brown. Six to three. To make the... Seven to three now, thanks to a goal from that same combination. An offensive zone draw for Boston as they go forward with it. Two quick passes, the final one to Araldi all alone in the slot. Araldi buries from Brown and Wagner. Junior Rangers win it. Junior Flyers and the Junior Titans. The Flyers get started early in this one. Less than two minutes in, the Titans pass attempt. Hits off the referee, stays in the zone. Crabtree finds it. Crabtree to Neville and Neville's backhander to the scoreboard. Quentin it's Neville. one to nothing, Junior Flyers. Flyers going to be pressuring again. We're still not even five minutes into this one. New Jersey keeping most of the pressure to the outside. When they get a chance to clear, though, they fail. Philadelphia going to capitalize on that mishap. Good, quick puck movement. Bruyard, Mackin, and Matsumoto going to combine on this one as they throw it to the slot. A couple of hacks here. One save, two saves, three saves, fourth time. That's the charm. Bruyard gets it. One of his nine on the season. Two nothing in favor of the Junior Flyers. Early second period now. And the Titans looking to find a little life. Stepping finds Jordan Dempster all alone. And Dempster rings one off the iron at home. He cuts the deficit to one. Dempster from Stepin and Tomashek. Titans all over the Flyers now. 
Good, quick passing, but check out that kick save, Triana. What reflexes as he keeps the Flyers up a goal. Titans still hungry for a tie. They get set up with a man advantage. The first shot going to be stopped. But Jordan Dempster on the doorstep, cleaning up the trash. Jordan Dempster puts home his second of the game from Conroy and step in the tie in at two. Headed to the third, still tied at two. This same combination for the Titans is going to strike again. Dempster to Powell to step in and to the back of the net. The Titans with three unanswered. Take a three to two lead. Flyers looking to respond. It's a long stretch pass that finds Kyle Matsumoto. Matsumoto stop, but he's hauled down. And we're going to get a penalty shot. Kyle Matsumoto will take it. Matsumoto walking in. He's got all the time he needs. Matsumoto, a couple of quick deeks, and he slides one home. One of his four goals on the season. This one ties the game as he beats Kearney. The Junior Flyers not done yet. This isn't deja vu, folks. Bruyard to who else? Matsumoto. And Matsumoto, you betcha, on the breakaway. His second of the game, this one. Gives the Flyers a 4-3 to three lead. The Titans would respond, though. Just over one minute later, Brower gets it at the blue line. Throws one on goal. Anthony Stampin tips that one home. And we are back to even. Stampin second of the game. It ties it at four. The Junior Flyers, though, in the waiting seconds. Trying to avoid overtime. They get set up in the offensive zone. Throw it out in front, but that shot stopped. The big save made by Kearney. He'd stop 35 on the night. This one forces overtime. And one minute into overtime, it's who else? Anthony Stampin gathering in this feed. He makes a quick cut to buy some time. Fires one, and yes, folks, that one trickles home. The junior Titans come away with the 5-4 victory. Anthony Stampin, five points, including the hat trick. The Walpole Express visiting the Northern Cyclones. The Express going to hop on the board first in this one. Winning all the battles in the offensive zone for the loose puck. Benoit gets it to Balboa. Balboa throws one out in front and it ricochets home for the early one goal lead. The Cyclones would get a power play and respond though midway through the first period. Great movement from Coster to Feltow to Brian Bowen, and Bowen taps one home. Bowen's been hot lately for the Cyclones. 19 points now for him on the season. We head to the second period and three minutes in. The Express in control of the puck, but Jonathan Feltow with the strip, and Feltow walks it all alone and buries that one. That goal gives the Cyclones a 2-1 to lead. Five minutes later, the Cyclones on the power play. The puck going to come to the blue line. Feltow set it up. Fellows fires that one on goal and in. Feltow and Swenson, the assist on Fellows. Power play goal, three unanswered for Northern. The Express would get one back at the tail end of the second period, though. C.J. Blasco over the blue line. He finds Colin O'Neill, and O'Neill delays a few seconds before firing one, and that one goes top shelf and into the back of the net, and it makes it a one-goal game. The Northern Cyclones are going to look to answer that quick as the period comes to a close. They enter the zone. The shot stop. The rebound is somehow kept out by a diving Kyle Shapiro. The scramble for the puck leads to some extracurricular activity. Shapiro would make 28 saves on the night, and that one kept this a one-goal game. Headed to the third period, and in the third period, in the first minute, the Express with a chance to clear here. After the dump in, they get it, but they turn it over, and the Cyclones all over this opportunity. Swanson to Valenti, to Bates, and Connor Bates is tied for the team lead in goals with 10, and he shows you why. Right there, he buries to make it four to two. Cyclones win it four to three. The Wilkes Bear Scranton Knights took down the New York Bobcats behind a hat trick and five points from Eric Moberg. Jason Zaleski had five points as well, two goals and three assists. Ragon and Gargin, the lone goal scorers for the New York Bobcats. The New Jersey Rockets 
all over the Washington Junior Nationals, 9-2. Kashmir had a hat trick of his own with three goals. Sam Bloom had a pair. Stephen East stopped 37 of 39. Lawrence and Thomas, the lone goals for the Washington Junior Nationals in their defeat. The Connecticut Wolfpack took down the Philadelphia Little Flyers 6-3 in their battle. Benjamini had two goals and an assist. Nick Belger had the game-winning goal and two assists. Landry stopped 30 of 33 in net for Philadelphia. Sam Manzi had two goals and an assist. Lowen a goal and two assists. Wilkes-Barre Knights at the New York Bobcats. The Knights top line on the ice in the final five minutes of the first. Siglarski to Moberg and he absolutely Rips that wrist shot home. Moberg lights the lamp. It's one to nothing. Wilkes Bear. Just over two minutes later, the Knights again pressuring in the offensive zone. This time they get it to Skodalski and he hammers that puck home. Skodalski from Long and Polacek. A couple of heavy shots from Wilkes Bear for the two goal lead. In the second, the Bobcats down a man, but they're going to run a design play. Watch this. They win the puck. Wrap it around the boards and then spring Shuley through the middle. Shuley all alone and you betcha. Just like that, it's two to one. Shuley the short-handed goal from Wallace and Diorio. The Knights gonna look to push their lead back to two. They get the puck towards goal here and then they're just gonna hack away a very late whistle. Comes as David Lynch tries to jump on top of the puck. Lynch stops quite a few whacks at the puck to keep that one out of the net and keep it a one goal game he'd stop 24 on the night bobcats lose this draw but check out this interception by malafronte and daniel malafronte tickles the twine what a read right there that's one of malafronte's seven goals on the year just two minutes later though the knights will break the tie a lot of possession here but the bobcats keeping them to the outside eventually a shot thrown towards goal and lynch can't handle the loose puck. Paolo swoops in, wraps it around, and sneaks it in the far post. The goal makes it 3-2. to two. The Knights would eventually go on to win this one 4-2 over the Bobcats. New Jersey Rockets and the Washington Junior Nationals early in the first period. Jeremy Bracco with the steal and the coast-to-coast -coast rush before he buzzes one right past the ear. Of the goaltender, the Rockets take the early one to nothing lead later in the first, and they're looking to extend it. Some quick puck movement and several shots, but making the big time saves was Jukchin and that Jukchin solid here, and he would stop 28 on the night. Washington Junior Nationals trying to get it going. On the other on the first shot stop, the rebound, and a kick save made there as well. Stephen East in seven games on this season is two, two, and two. For the Rockets. 1-0 Rockets still. But Washington with an answer of their own. DeRosa going to find Gomez. He's the trailer on the rush. And Gomez lets one rip that finds the back of the net. That goal good to tie this game at 1. We're going to jump ahead now to the second period. And the Nationals are going to get on the board again. The long stretch pass finds Madsen. And Madsen puts one past the glove of East. Good job to use his body on the breakaway. To ward off the defender. That goal makes it 2-1. to one. It would take 7 minutes. But the New Jersey Rockets would even things up. Off the draw in their own end. A Bells would start the rush. And drop one to Jonathan Cashmere. Who absolutely hammers that puck. Right past Jokchen. The goal ties it at 2. New Jersey pulling even 2.5 minutes later. A Bell again with the feed. On the odd man rush. This time a Bell finds Ferguson and Ferguson waits and then buries good delay right there the patience to beat the goaltender and that one makes it three to two into the third we go East going to make a couple of saves for New Jersey is Washington trying to tie and they get some good pressure but off the saves it's the Rockets the other way nothing but goaltender there and what a save by Jukchin flashing the leather Junction with a huge save to keep this one a one-goal game. We head to the final minutes of the third period. An offensive zone draw for New Jersey. A bell is on it, and a bell wins it right to Farguson. Farguson gets all of that one. The Rockets seal the deal with the four-goal. They win it 4-2. to two. 
Philly Little Flyers at the Connecticut Wolfpack. The Flyer forecheck going to work early in this one. Two different steals from the Wolfpack D. The first shot by Trevor Gooch is stopped, but Gooch doesn't stop working. Off the second one, Gooch gets it to go from Lowen and Manzi, and it's one to nothing. Little Flyers, seven minutes later, Osea going to go coast to coast. He comes in all by himself, several defenders back. His first shot stop beats everyone to the rebound, and Osea slams it home. Great individual effort from Brian Osea to make it two to nothing. Second period now, and late into it again, it's all about the Flyers. Four check the takeaway by Marcianda, and he hits a cutting Groff, and Groff making no mistakes about that one. As he slings it into the back of the net, that goal makes it three to nothing in favor of the Little Flyers. They would add one more in the second period and push it to a four nothing lead as we head to the third. And early in the third, the steal by Kalajiri, and what a move as he cuts over the blue line. Kalajiri with the slick moves, the slick wrister, and he's on the board just about 30 seconds in. To this first period and not much after that the Wolfpack showing signs of life it's Belger over the blue line gets the drop pass and that one ripped home Nick Belger gets it there the goal from Mariano four to two is the Wolfpack coming on strong early in the third they're still pressuring here it's going to be Belger again slick little toe drag but that one swallowed up by Trutt flashing the leather Trutt would stop 48 in the game Power play now for the Wolfpack. They're working the blue line. The big drive going to be stopped right there. The rebound appears to be free. It appears to be put home. But a quick whistle by the referee. Stop this one. The goal waved off much to the frustration of the Wolfpack. And with that, the Philadelphia Little Flyers will roll to the four to do victory over the Connecticut Wolfpack. The Walpole Express and the Laconia Leafs, the Express, Pull away with the 9-2 victory here. Nicholas Balboa had a hat-trick and an assist. Eric Salzillo had two goals, including one on the power play and a pair of assists. Kreiner and Kelly, the lone goals for the Laconia Leafs in their defeat. The Philadelphia Junior Flyers take down the New Jersey Titans 5-2. Mackin and Matsumoto each with a goal and an assist. Brown stopped 26 of 28. Anthony Stampin. And David Ramos had two points apiece for the New Jersey Titans. Let's take a look at the AJHL Players of the Week up front. Eric Moberg of the Wilkes-Barre Knights. Six goals and two assists for eight points in just three games played on the blue line. Conroy of the New Jersey Titans. He had four assists in his three games. And in that, Stephen East of the New Jersey Rockets. 2-0 and in two games. Just four goals against and 76 saves for the netminder. We jump to the AJHL standings. Will Spare Scranton sits atop them with 39 points. Walpole has 34. The Northern Cyclones, 32. Boston and New York tied with 31. Connecticut rounds out the upper echelon with 29. The New Jersey Rockets have 22. The Philadelphia Junior Flyers, 21 points. The Little Flyers and the Titans each have 19. Laconia Leafs, 16. And Washington Junior Nationals, 13. That is going to do it for this episode of Cruising the Atlantic. I'm Nick LaCalce. Special thanks to the AJHL Fast Hockey and Ryan Hess, as always. We'll see you next week.